Old Texoma, it's going to be a pretty nice next several days. Our high temperatures are going to be in towards the upper 70s going into and throughout the rest of this work week and for the weekend. But we have a lot of rain to talk about, some flash flooding concerns, but at least it will be helping our drought. So we're going to time it out for you here, showing these increasing clouds throughout the night. And eventually by early Monday morning, we're going to start to see some rain coming out of the west along the I-35 corridor with some chances for some storms as well. Nothing's going to be severe. We're just going to have a lot of rainfall coming with a cold front that'll swing through our region. And then we continue with chances for rain all the way throughout this week with multiple low pressure systems just meandering down towards our south. That's going to provide all the forcing that we need for these rain chances. And as we head in towards Wednesday and to Thursday and Friday, that's our main days that I'm really watching for some excessive rainfall to lead to a lot of flash flooding. A lot of rain could be falling in that 48 to 72 hour period all the way through the weekend, Saturday and then towards Sunday. We have some chances for some rain, but upwards of four inches of rainfall will fall potentially over the next week in this shading right here, this kind of red maroon shading, including Sherman, Durant, Ardmore, I-35. So really watching the chances for flash flooding there Wednesday and towards Friday. But we've only received this month 0.28 inches of rainfall. Over the past two months, we've received less than a half inch of rain in Sherman at least. Year to date, we're about three inches below average. We typically, this time of the year in September, receive around three and a half inches of rainfall. So we could be receiving that over the next week. It's going to really be helping our drought. We still have severe, even extreme drought in portions of Texoma. So hopefully we'll be going down in terms of multiple drought classes with all of this rain that will be coming in. I'll be talking more about that in along with our flash flooding concerns coming up tonight with Kathy on K10.